Now let us discuss about basic concepts used in automata theory or mathematical notations in automata theory. So here the first one is alphabet. An alphabet is a set of symbols. It is a finite set of symbols. So set means collection. So a finite collection of symbols. An alphabet is represented by sigma. Sigma is equal to 0, 1. So here 0 and 1 are nothing but symbols. This is called as binary alphabet. Why? Because it contains two symbols. Next to sigma is equal to A, comma, B, comma, so on, small z. So this is a, a lowercase alphabet. This alphabet contains only lowercase symbols. So likewise we can write an alphabet for uppercase also. So this is an uppercase alphabet. Why? Because it contains uppercase symbols. So this is about what is an alphabet. Now let us see about what is a string. What is a string? String means a finite, a finite collection of finite collection of symbols over alphabet over alphabet sigma. So string means a finite set of symbols which are generated from the alphabet sigma. So a sequence of symbols generated from the alphabet is called as the string. Uh, so for space constraints I am erasing this portion. So that is the definition of the string. A finite set of symbols generated from the alphabet. A string is always represented by W. Uh, w can also, string can also be called as board. What is the other name for string? Board. So we can represent a string with the help of W. Uh, let we have a string like this. Sigma is equal to 0, 1. Then the various strings generated from the alphabet are 0 is a string, 1 is a string, uh, collection of 0 and 1. 0, 1 is a string, 1, 0 is a string, 0, 0 is a string, 1, 1 is a string, 0, 1, 0 is a string, 1, 0, 1 is a string. Likewise, we can have n number of strings. Now, let us see some operations, basic operations, which are performed on the string. The first one is length of a string. Length of a string. So, length means total number of symbols presented in the string. Length of the string is denoted by mod w. So, mod w denotes length of the string. Let w is equal to abc. Then mod w is equal to, in abc totally we have three symbols. So, length of the string is 3. And the next operation is, uh, what is empty string? So, empty string means a string with no symbols. A string with no symbols. An empty string is always denoted by epsilon symbol. Empty string is denoted by epsilon symbol. The length of empty string is 0. The length of empty string is 0. So we can say that uh, length of empty string is what? 0. So mod w is nothing but 0. Why? Because empty string doesn't contain any symbols. Now length is over, empty string is over. Uh, now let us see some more technologies on strings. Uh, next one is prefix of a string. So third one is prefix of a string. So prefix means any number of leading symbols. Prefix means any number of leading symbols. So let me have a string like this. Let W is equal to ABC. Then the prefixes are uh, epsilon is a prefix. Why? Because we can write ABC as epsilon into ABC into epsilon. So epsilon is a string. Next A is a prefix leading symbol. Uh, next AB is a prefix leading symbols. ABC is a prefix. Okay. These are the prefixes which generated from the uh, this string. Uh, now let us see about proper prefix of a string. Proper prefix of a string. So proper prefix means uh, except e epsilon and the string. Except epsilon and the string. Remaining all are the proper prefixes. Okay. Uh, so we can't take epsilon and abc. Uh, so if you take if the string is abc, uh, 
Uh, then the proper prefixes are A and AB. We can't take epsilon and that complete string. Now let us see about the suffix. Suffix of a string. Suffix means any number of trying symbols. Any number of trying symbols. So let me have a string like this. Let W is equal to ABC. Then the trying symbols are epsilon is the uh, first string. Why? Because ABC can be written as epsilon into ABC into epsilon. So this epsilon is a suffix. Next to C is a suffix. C is a uh, C is a trying symbol. BC is a trying symbol. ABC is nothing but trying symbols. Okay. Uh, next, let us see about proper suffixes. Proper suffix of a string. So proper suffix means except epsilon and ABC. Remaining all are the proper suffixes. So here the proper suffixes are. Uh, so this one is what C epsilon. Next to C, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, epsilon is written by C. So C and B, C are the proper suffixes. We can't write epsilon and uh, A, B, C. And the next terminology is substring. Substring. Substring means a part of a string. Part of a string. So if you take A, B, C, then the substrings are epsilon is a substring, A is a substring, A, B is a substring, A, B, C is a substring. Next, C is a substring, B, C is a substring. So those are the parts of a string. Uh, so this is about substring. So this is about what is a string. So till now we have seen about uh, alphabet and string. Now let us see about the next terminology. That is language. Language. Language means a collection of strings. So language means here alphabet means. Alphabet means collection of symbols. Uh, next uh, string means collection of alphabets. Collection of alphabets, or we can write, uh, we can say as collection of symbols also. Collection of alphabets or collection of symbols. Uh, next, various language means collection of strings. So, language means collection of strings are a finite set of strings generated from generated from what is the alphabet here? Epsilon. So, let uh, sigma is equal to zero comma one. Then we can write the language as L is equal to. So collection of strings generated from the alphabet. Okay. So 0. Next 1. Next uh, 0 occurrences of 0. Next we can write the 2 occurrences. So 2 occurrences means 0, 0. 0, 1. 1, 0. 1, 1. 3 occurrences means 3, 0. 1, 1. 0, 0, 1. 1, double, 0. Likewise we can write n number of strings. Okay. Uh, next, let us see about uh, uh, some more examples on the language. Uh, let the language is like this. Uh, any, let the, let, uh, we have an alphabet like this. Let sigma is equal to 0, 1. 0, 1. Here the language is any number of, any number of zeros. Any number of zeros. Then we can write the language as L is equal to any number of zeros. Just we have to write only zeros only. So zero number of zeros means it can be written as epsilon. Next to one zero, next to two zeros, next to three zeros. Likewise, we can write n number of zeros. So likewise, any number of zeros and ones means any number of zeros and ones means epsilon zero one zero 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 one one zero one one. So we can write n number of strings generated from the uh, zero and one. Okay. Uh, now let us see about uh, uh, measure two operations on the line base. Uh, mainly we have two operations. The first one is clean closure. The second one is positive closure. Clean closure. The second one is positive closure. Clean closure. Clean closure can also be called as star closure also. Star closure also. So it is, it is denoted by sigma star. Clean closure is denoted by sigma star. This can also be called as star closure. Why? Because here we have star symbol. Okay. Uh, let, uh, uh, let the alphabet is like this. Sigma is equal to uh, 0. Sigma is equal to 0. Then we can write sigma star as any number of zeros. Okay. So 0 number of zeros means epsilon 1 0 next to 2 zeros, 3 zeros, 4 zeros. So that means uh, set of all the strings generated from epsilon set of all the strings generated from sigma here the sigma means zero 
Next one is positive closure. Next one is positive closure. Positive closure is denoted by sigma plus, sigma or plus. Uh, here sigma plus means it contains minimum one occurrence. So that means this epsilon is not present here. So sigma power plus means epsilon is not present here. So the remaining symbols are 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, likewise we can write. Okay. So this is about positive closure. So these are the various concepts or mathematical notations which are used in finite automata theory.